try to pin McDonald. A couple of wild men in the ring here. No fall the first time, and the bear is going to try that neck breaker again, I'm sure, as he slams there with rabbit punches. Here come the knee drops. Yes, indeed, the tactics look identical with the first round of action. And look at the Baron keep up that softening up process. Now he's going to try for the neck breaker. He may get it all of a sudden here. McDonald moves to the ropes, though. Once again, he saves himself. McDonald in bad shape. He started well, but the Baron quickly bore him down with that series of slams with the fist. Knee drops to the back of the neck. Wait a minute. McDonald trying, but without much success. Here's that knee drop again, coming time after time after time. And the Baron once more trying for his famous neck breaker. This could be the first fall of the match coming up right now. He's got McDonald in position. I think there's a submission right here. Yes, indeed, there is. The Baron ends the second round very quickly with the first fall of the match. Well, we'll have uh, the time on that, and it's going to be quick, believe you me. McDonald in trouble. And again, slowly getting up off the canvas. Let's get Jules Strombo's official announcement of the time because it must have been a very fast fall. In the time of one minute and 11 seconds for the neck breaker, Baron Michel Leone takes the first fall in the second round. So the Baron moves out in front a little bit here for the first fall and gets some heckling from the ringsiders. And they don't seem to be particularly happy with his tactics. I notice that Jules Strombo is trying to calm him down a little bit in there, talking to him and telling him to be calm. But the Baron... As wild as he always looks in one of these wrestling uh, matches in which he appears. The only time he's been defeated out here in the Pacific Coast was, of course, in the great match with Lou Fez that cleared up the World's Championship once and for all. The Baron doesn't like defeat at any time. Well, the excitement and the thrills continue on live wrestling. There's never a dull moment during these rugged events, believe you me. the third round of our main event tonight Baron Michelle Leone and Sockeye Jack McDonald the Baron haven't taken the first fall and Sockeye Jack looks like he wants to get the second one don't blame him Sockeye Jack McDonald pounding away at the small of the back and the Baron is complaining but those are legal forearm smashes and the Baron's being told just exactly that Baron takes forward quarter Nelson Donald tried one weak slam there at the back. Let's see if he's going to try to do any more of it or not. Look out. Forearm smash. Darren tried for a leg smash with no luck. Got a forearm smash right in the face. And he's hurt by it. Donald wound up with what looked like a fist that time. Here's the leg snatch by Baron Leone. Comes up with a leg lock. Baron may move now to a Hackenschmidt. He moves up to a toehold. And the Baron shouts to the referee, watch the shoulders. At least that's what he sounded like, he said. McDonald to try to spoil things a little bit. The Baron is changing now to a reverse cross leg toe hold. It's a straight cross leg toe hold here as he bears down and uh, the offer of submission already made. McDonald is declining up to now as the Baron bears down and McDonald tries to work his way to the ropes to get himself out of trouble here once again. Try to grab the canvas, tried anything, nothing works. He's still caught tight in the hole. Sounds like to hold again. Back we go. McDonald this time I think yes he is going to make it gets his head under the ropes and they have to break up the Baron punishes the right leg just a little bit there and 
get a load of sockeye Jack McDonald as he works on the barn. He's lifting him up there with the bow and arrow treatment on the ropes. So all of a sudden, back comes the barn, and look at the hip roll he walked into there. Sockeye McDonald goes to work on the barn's left arm. with an arm lock on the Baron's left arm. Loses that as the Baron moves in on the face. A ball that uh, Joe Wood does not like. Mother Hall and he's ordering a free. The count went to three again before the Baron broke. If it's gone to five, of course, he would have been disqualified. Walks right into a knee. Comes back with his own, and it's going to be rough here for the moment. Here come the smashes. One of those crushing polo punches. One by McDonald. That forearm smash. And drops the grabs a leg and takes down McDonald. Comes up again here with the leg lock. McDonald trying to work himself out of it is in danger of being taken right into a Hackenschmidt if the Baron wants to do it. He apparently prefers to keep this leg lock. Now he's moving to his Hackenschmidt. Here it is, the standing toe hold. The Baron just bears down on the leg, doesn't twist the foot either one way or the other up till now. Joe Wood thought there was going to be a submission right then and there, but there was not. Blood cop, that changed things. And here is McDonald. Coming in there with slamming punches, the hip roller take down, the Baron with the side headlock loses it. Takes it again and really takes McDonald down this time, but again loses the hold. McDonald walks into it again, and the Baron caught right in the back. McDonald lifts for a body slam. A backbreaker it is. Then dumps the Baron unceremoniously in the canvas for two, for three, and a fall apiece. The Baron suddenly caught with a tackle in the back, and then a backbreaker, and that was too much for him. And sockeye Jack McDonald here has pinned for the fall that makes it all even. Let's hear from Joe. time of five minutes. 23 seconds with a backbreaker in the body press. Sakai McDonald takes the second fall in the third round. That's it for the main event up to now. A fall apiece. We still have the fourth, the final round to go under Australian style wrestling that we have here in these main events at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Plenty of time for either man to get himself a fall. And of course with that, take the match. So let's see whether the Baron or whether Sockeye Jack McDonald is going to be able to do it or not. Well, yes, indeed. Every night that you watch wrestling from the Hollywood Legion Stadium, you're sure of more thrills and excitement with these live wrestlers as they're presented from the American Legion Stadium in Hollywood. That warns the seconds away from the ring, and the bell sounds to send us into the final round. Jack McDonald with a double leg side starts it off. He's trying to turn the baron, but he can't. Wait a minute, we're going to roll the boat here. Or are we? A fall apiece. And almost all of the time of the final round left. Plenty of opportunity for one or the other to get a fall. Which, of course, will give him the match. Baron is trying to get away from these double arm locks. With all the one or two punches, McDonald seems to be willing. Yes, indeed. That's the Baron. Here's the same way he just got the ball a little while ago. Tries that back breaker. This would be a big surprise if McDonald, the underdog, were to come through with a win here. The Baron gets through the ropes to get himself out of trouble. 